We back ish. We, whoa, we just all the way crashed. The computer just hard locked for like no reason. <laughs> right? And uh, not sure why. That is very troubling for future streams. No, that is. I, I don't want that happening in the middle of something important. Oh my God. Um, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, especially since I, I use this for work. You know, I, I yeah. All right, let's see if we can get Castlevania back up. Are we live right now? We are live. All right, we are live. Are you there, Olivia? I told her we we're back. Should tell her to refresh the browser. Oh yeah. For our one viewer. Oh, she's here. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Wow. So you see first that real quick. Yep, yep, yep. She's so late. <laughs> we would hate to disappoint you, the only person watching. She's like, I'm here! The only person watching live. <laughs> right. Other people will see this later on YouTube and Twitch in the archives, but you're the only person who's here right now, and it, it, it was we were super stressed about disappointing you. Right? All right. Okay. So your mom's going to play some Castlevania 4. Let's do this. Uh, the controller's not working. Of course the controller's not working! Of course the controller's not working! Give me, give me the, give me the thing. <laughs> Why would it work? <laughs> Why would it work? Uh, why is everything not working? <laughs> you know, that's why I'm, I think I She's might gonna be... subscribe to me later. Well, that's awesome! Awesome! I have a viewer. I have, I've, I have locked one in. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's tell, tell your friends. Yeah, tell all your friends. I swear a little, but I'm a very friendly show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to cut down on my swearing. my whole thing, and this is why the name is what it is, is no no uh no shitting on, on other people. No shitting on other people. The only people I ever shit on are mean people. Because fuck mean people. I wasn't shitting on Travis earlier. That it's was, fine. It's uh, fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about a, a people. Oh, not, okay. not a person. A whole people. <laughs> oh, no, that's My not cool. My whole thing, yeah. Fuck, no, that's not cool. That's what I'm saying. You have a friend that has 3,000 subscribers. Get that friend to, to, to yeah. hook me up. Hook yeah. me up. Hook it up. Help me out. Hook it up. I'm you just getting started. I have no idea what I'm doing. I haven't got a clue. I have no idea how to get viewers. I just started the stream and put it out on Twitter that I'm doing it and hoping for the best. I don't have no idea how to attract uh, Twitch followers. Hmm. So input configuration. I need to advertise somehow. Make flyers or do something. That's just the way I learn it, though. So honor code probably ain't well. Why is this not working? Why on earth... Did I hit the wrong button? No, I have, I don't know what the hell's going on. <sighs> oh, again. Third time. Forgot the mouse. What's she saying? She said, I will. She's like, I'll teach you. Is it connected? Uh... This one does not want to connect. This one works fine. So I think what the issue is, is that I have two of the same controller. Yeah. And Windows doesn't know what to do with that. Huh. So... Didn't we have trouble with those two controllers that I had? Yeah, we did. Oh my god. And they weren't even the same. Okay, but now, the, the what was player two, now it wants this to be the controller. Okay, that's what you want, Windows. Start, select, LR, and the rest are fine. Here you go. Now we can finally, finally play some Castlevania IV. See how she's like diagnosing stuff? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Is it connected? Try reconnecting. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it wasn't that. 
It, it, it is connected. It's just that it, it it's Bluetooth and Windows like it uh, in order to, you know for it not to be like draining the battery constantly. It doesn't it, it doesn't remain connected to the Bluetooth when you're not using it. But there's no on off switch. That's what I know. That so like, what? you hit a button and it has to like wait for wi Windows to recognize it again. And then sometimes you got to unplug and plug in the dongle again for no damn reason. You guys should play the kindergarten. Never, kindergarten. Never heard of it. What the hell is that? Well, I'm gonna have lots of streams coming up. I can totally have your mom over and we can play whatever that is. Nice. Not today though. We're gonna play some Castlevania. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Oh, I gotta go check the buttons again. Okay, so jump is B. It remembered everything. Well, I'll be a son of a taco. Son of a taco. Okay then. That was nice restaurant. Can I come too? Hell yeah, I would have you on the stream any day of the week. Aww. Yeah, I don't know which one this is anyways. Gotta have your parents' permission. Coming to Crystals this weekend. I don't, I don't know that I'll be around, but... Thanks for being on the show, by the way. Of course. Yeah, nice to have you. Nice to be here. And it's also nice on a show called Sofa Justice Warriors to not have two, uh, two white guys, you know, sitting around. Like, it, the optics of my show are not great. Because you tune in and you see us in the bottom corner and then you see the name and, and you know, the name is a play. You're, are you familiar with the term social justice warrior? Mm -hmm. Okay, that is what people on the, inter on the internet call you if you speak out for peop less fortunate people. Like if you speak out for women, if you speak out for black people, if you speak out for gay people, if you speak out for any minority and i don't even like calling them minorities because you add them all up they're not the minority but if you if you speak out for marginalized peoples people derisively call you and, oh you're just a social justice warrior you blah and, and and i thought that was i was like that's a really dumb insult because every part of it sounds awesome like i'm social i'm pro-justice and i don't consider myself a warrior but that does sound cool yeah. So it's a, it's like the worst insult of all time. But anyway, it's it's all over the internet, and and so I was like, well, I'm talking about social issues on a couch, sofa justice warriors. My wife came up with it. It was brilliant. My ex-wife. It yeah. was brilliant. Then she is a brilliant person. I, I love oh. her. She's great. Um, that is pretty genius. Yeah. So she came up with that, and I was just like, it was like forehead slappingly obvious. It was it was so obvious that I never would have thought of it. Um, and it was genius, and so I named the show that because it's right in the name. Huh. That's where I came from. I was so, 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 but the optics of it aren't great, because you see Sova Justice Warriors, and you go, oh, is, is this, is this, and then you see, like, two, you know, oh, you got the thin guy and the fat guy. Are, you know, are, are you the, the terrible people I'm expecting you to be? Are you making fun of social justice? And no, no, my whole show is pro-social justice. We haven't been talking about it a lot. Yeah. Because we were playing Ninja Turtles. There's not a lot there. There's not a lot of there there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, it wasn't too. Are you talking about today? Yeah. Oh, okay. But even you know, I haven't been doing it on on Sofa Justice Live on this show on the the live Twitch show. Yeah. I haven't really. It hasn't. I mean, it, it comes up because it comes up because I'm me, and I'm gonna bring that to every conversation that I have. Mm -hmm. Irritatingly so to some people. And, and, uh, you know, if uh, you want to be racist around me, fuck your comfort. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I get so I don't give a mad. shit about your comfort. Yeah. <laughs> you know how I am because yeah. I support everybody that's suppressed. Right. I'm, I'm, like, completely associated with... Everybody is repressed. You are a fucking targeted minority. Yes. Like, even within other minority communities, you are targeted there, too. Yes. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm, you know, people don't... People call me brave for doing it. Yeah. For all of it. And then even, like, I support... Like, you were, no, it was hugely brave to, like, decide... Because 
We talked about this the other night, about how people try to frame your decision to transition as you choosing to be a woman. When, no, you were a woman the whole fucking time. It's, you have decided to stop living a lie. Thank you. That's the decision you made. <laughs> and that is brave. That There is bravery in that. Well, the hardest part was I, uh, I started doing it full time three years ago. Because um, I've only been homeless for two and a half years. Right. But I started in Spokane in the ghetto over there. Yeah. And so I got don't a lot. Say, get, don't say ghetto, Crystal. Oh. Uh, well, that's kind of what my foster got, family's got me into. I know. Okay. My bad. I lost my long chain! <laughs> I'm dying. Oh well. It's a good thing I have headphones on. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I'm snarry. use that steak right now. That was a mistake. But anyway, uh, looking like this, which you previously did, though you kept your your, your thin. I lost the thin. Because you, you and I were the skinny kids in high school, and you 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 uh, you stayed there, and I way didn't. I ballooned up to 250 at one point. I uh, just lost 40 something pounds. Yeah, I lost. I've lost uh, 50, 65 pounds wow. from when I was on. Uh, but it was all medication weight. Uh, it's you yeah. Know, when you're mentally ill, <laughs> you take what the doctors give you, and if the side effect is. Uh, you're gonna gain 20 pounds immediately. You're gonna gain 50 pounds immediately. You're like, okay, well then I'll try to be a very well-adjusted fat man. Um, <laughs> because not taking this means I'm crazy. Oh my god. You know. That's what they're doing to me. OCD, I was... PTSD. Antipsychotics, um, do that. And then, like, I have a backwards effect of everything. Let's see. Crystal, I want you to know that I'm proud of your decision, that I support and love you. Oh, I love you too, honey. Thank you. That is fucking beautiful. This is... <laughs> I, uh... If nobody ever sees this, ever, yeah. if nobody ever joins this channel and nobody ever sees this video, I am proud of that moment oh. having happened because of me. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Glad I'm happy I got to be a part of it. It means a lot. Really. So anyway, uh, you 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 kind of opted out of looking like this, looking like uh, uh, a white dude of average size, carries with it a lot of privilege. There are a lot of there there aren't very many places I can't go. There aren't very many you know spaces I can't occupy safely. Yeah. Um, yes. When I explained uh, male privilege to a group of filmmakers, I explained it thusly. I had a group of women at one table and a group of men at the other. We were all filmmakers. And I, I, I said, uh, one guy was going off about how male pri privilege doesn't exist. Male privilege doesn't exist. Privilege is made up. It's made up liberal bullshit. And the way that I explained it is, okay, every guy at this table, what is your plan when we leave this bar for avoiding sexual assault? And they all went, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what are you even talking about? What do you, what's, what's your, what? And I said, okay, hold that thought. And I went to every woman at the other table and I said, what is your plan for avoiding sexual assault when, when, when you leave this bar? And they said, oh, I hold my keys like a knife. The next one said, I never walk alone at night. They all had answers. They, all of them had answers. Because women have to think of this and men don't. Yep. That's what privilege is. I get harassed. Yeah. So a lot. <laughs> looking like this... Which you did. Mm -hmm. uh, you could have lived the lie the rest of your life and been in pain the rest of your life and carried that privilege with you. You could have, yeah, yeah, you're not your authentic self and you, you don't get to be who you are for people, but you can walk around safely. You opted out of that because it was more important to be you. Yeah. Yeah. Completely. That's fucking brave as shit. Yeah. And then <laughs> I deal with, Onika was talking to me about going to the auto parts store and I'm crying happy tears of joy. Aw. Thank you, honey. Uh, Tell her you love her, for God's sake. I love you, honey. <laughs> oh, I do. 
Oh. So keep playing. Okay. Um, Sorry, I got I got heavy with the topic. No, that's fine. Keep going. Um, I just at the auto store like. Uh, yeah, that is a toxic culture. Yeah, that's why I can't do that. That anymore. whole like like here's what men are supposed to be. Here's what women are supposed to be. All of that is gross. All of that is stupid. And it's baked into the culture in a super bad way. Yeah. It's it's uh yeah. It's why I was talking earlier. I always buy the pink thing. Yeah. Because fuck you. Fuck the fuck that gender <laughs> norm. That's stupid. And pink hundreds like hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Uh pink was the manly color because it was the color of like a blood stain. Well they were called like stain yeah. stuff too. So it's 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 uh it's completely constructed. It's it's not inherent and it's pointless and stupid. It drives me ape shit that there's a girl aisle at the, to at the toy store, and it's all pink. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of like Target is uh, making the adjustment yeah. for, you know, making it gender neutral. Right. You know, because there's a lot of... Uh, and you can use a fucking bathroom there. They were a company that stood up and said, Hey, fuckers. <laughs> like, straight up. Trans people are going to use our bathrooms, and if you got a problem with it, don't shop here. That was awesome. Yeah, that was cool. You know, the other thing... I've only had problems with the bathroom thing once. And it wasn't even in my face. It's just that, like, in the beginning of it, uh -huh. when... Because I was taking the estrogen pills, my stomach would filter them out. Oh. So, like, the first year was really hard because I was really, really slow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And... Now... How do I get out of here? If Crystal didn't change, I would have never seen her a few days ago, and I wouldn't have gotten out of my depression. For months. A few Aww. months ago. I'm sorry you were depressed. Yeah, she was depressed. I was depressed too, but I mean, I was, you know. But that was the, uh, it took a lot of convincing. I had to, like, literally get informed from the King County government about right. it. We shouldn't talk about this on the air. Um, oh, yeah. That's airing out personal laundry. Oh, okay. uh, but the supportive comment, awesome. Okay. <laughs> ah, what is that thing? Ghost. Oh, I'm gonna die. Where's the meat at? Whoops. Whoops is right. At least I didn't start that far. But then I die and I get this crappy whip. Yeah, you get the terrible whip. Huh. Those then Medusa heads are my least favorite enemy in Castlevania canon. I hate them. And then we never knew what they were called, but we all called them Medusa heads. And then, and then, uh, what game was it? I think it was Symphony of the Night. You could get an item that would tell you what the names of all the enemies you were fighting. Really? And sure enough, they were called Medusa heads the whole time. Ah! No, 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 don't lose that. I need that for my whip. <laughs> Um, well, just, uh, as far as, like, I wanted to go with, like, the whole trans talk is probably just, like, the video games. Right. So they're, like, trying to make more games that are more gender neutral. Yeah. What was that game, uh, where you had a cell phone, you could hack anything? Um, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. Okay, so in that game, you can get a sex change. That's cool. Yeah. Um, and then The Sims, you can wear... Pink stuff. Strafe just came out, and it's a game that it's a retro game that's like a, a it's basically a shooter from 1996. You know, a first person shooter? Yeah. But it just came out. And there is a gender I appreciate this as a non binary person. There is a gender slider. A gender slider? It is not you play as a man, you play as a woman. It's here is a gender spectrum. And you can move yourself along, and it just affects how deep your voice is, and that's really it. But it acknowledges gender as a spectrum, and not as a binary. Ah! Got him. Go under it! Don't bother to hit it, she says. What? I, it would, I mean, we're on a bit of a delay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so, by the time you say something, we're already, like, ten seconds ahead. I noticed that, and I was like, huh? Ah. 
I don't even remember the last time I played this game. I was talking about the Medusa heads. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, they're they're terrible. I hate those things. <laughs> but she's like, avoid them. Don't even bother trying. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're totally right. They're random. <laughs> Somebody's interacting with us on Twitter. On the Tweeties. Oh, cool. Why is it on the Twitter? <laughs> Mine is so clogged with the stuff. I don't even have any of my friends in there. Ah, come on. I need to grab any. No! God, this one's hard. Nobody on the Tweeties has, has much to say. It was it was the interactions where people like linking the video, not ah. yeah. Which I'm fine just streaming for your daughter. I think that's rad. <laughs> I if nobody fun. else shows up, this was totally worth it. This was this is amazing. Oh yeah. I think I mean, how, do you want to keep playing? Because the stream ends in like 13 minutes. Yeah. I think we're gonna let's go another half hour or so maybe. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go grab another drink. Can we? Have fun. Uh, no. Yeah, I'll grab you one. Keep doing it, honey. Ah! It's a really cool game. You check out more of the classics. dinner here. Give Mr. Belmont some food. No! Oh my god. This is gonna sound conceited as hell because I, you know, I cooked the meal, but it smells amazing up there still. <laughs> it does. Oh my god, you cooked for me three times so far. Yep. And my god, remember that I told you on the phone? I was like, I woke up in the morning with an addiction. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I what made, the? I made pork belly fajitas. Oh my uh, god. I've made every time I've cooked for you. I made Mexican food. I love Mexican food. I don't know why it's worked out that way, but it has worked out that way. Okay, so let's get let's get back into the game. I have nothing else to do anyways, but lay here miserable and sick. So keep streaming. Plus I love it. Great. <laughs> yeah, man, let's go late. Let's go past seven. Whenever there's moving stuff like that, it always gets me. <sighs> At least it's not like finicky where he like slides. Yeah. <laughs> Frogs. Come on. So when... 
How do I how do I begin this sentence? Oh my god, how do I get out of here? I'm stuck. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Oh, it's on a pit. It's like sink stuff. Like, yeah. Quick sink. other four years. So when uh, when Chris and I, or Crystal, when Crystal, see I dead named you. God damn it. It's okay. It's hard because I'm telling a story about the past. You can still. And No, I know, I know. I, you, you've said that it doesn't hurt your feelings, but I, I, I want to get it right all the time anyway. But it's it's different when I'm talking about stories from when we're teenagers. Mm -hmm. Because like, that's who you were then. Yeah. And so it becomes a little more difficult not to dead name you. Mm -hmm. Um when I'm talking about the past. But when you and I were teenagers, uh, we were like bleeding edge on technology and, and the beginnings of social media, which didn't really become huge until Twitter and Facebook, but like, I had a website that was basically a blog before blogs were a thing. Livid Liquid. Yeah, we were we were coding, uh, that's still the name of my company, Livid Liquid Productions. And we were we were making games, we were and, and coding our own websites and doing all those things when we were teenagers. Now, like I'm good with the technology, but the social aspects of it I'm just baffled by. It's I don't I, I we're in a green screen studio in my garage. Like the production value of this show is pretty okay, but I have no idea how to get somebody to watch it now. I'm not sure because there's a million other buttholes doing exactly this. If you had the streaming... I don't know why I called them all buttholes, but... <laughs> if you had the streaming going through your actual regular webpage... Right. It would be so much easier to get, you know, the SEO... SEO stuff? Yeah. 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 I mean, but, I archive them to the website. Yeah. In the hopes that... That, you know, the SEO stuff. Because, I you know, I, I have a little post. Hey, we have a new person. Snowbound, for what it's worth, I saw an ad for the Netrunner stream on Something Awful. Yeah, that was our, uh, uh, A&R Lizzie. That was, uh, uh, Dell. Yeah. He is our Netrunner guy. He is my co-host, usually. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't like Iron Fist. I know you, you're a big fan of Iron Fist. Uh, I find that character to be insufferable. Yeah. But I'm okay with that. In the Defenders, it looks like everybody else is going to treat him like he's an insufferable little dick. Which they should. Yeah. Because his own show treated him like a hero, but he was an insufferable little dick. They treated him like an asshole. He screwed up everything. I, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you went, you went, you're right, you're right. He never gets treated like... R.I.P. Lizzie. I will remember her when she was on this stream. Yeah, yeah. She's she's gone for the night. She had plans. He had plans. <laughs> Why am I... God. Sorry. Oh, my God. I just had a freaking testosterone. Liz, Lizzie, yeah. No. Uh, uh, Lizzie, I should point out, um, is not a person named Elizabeth. Uh, that is my friend Dell. He is the larger gentleman who usually appears on this stream with me. Uh, but he goes by a and Lizzie because a and stands for Android Netrunner. And Lizzie, I guess, is a, a character from that. I don't know much about Netrunner. Huh. Okay. It's a really cool card game. I've played it in real life. Yeah. He plays. He played the online version last Wednesday for the stream. Uh -huh. And I think that might just, just be what he does most Wednesdays. Uh, because hardly anybody is doing it. Hardly anybody is streaming it. Of course, there's not a huge amount of demand for it, but yeah. all the same, if nobody, you know, hardly anybody's doing it. Elizabeth Mills, she's a side character that has art of her being really happy blowing up a city block. That's, a, that, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but we have a second, we have a second person. Yeah, we have a, yeah. yeah. Your daughter and Snowbound. Welcome to the show, Snowbound. Welcome. 
We're gonna go a little late. Stream was supposed to end at seven, but we're gonna, uh, Crystal's daughter happened to pop in and, and fuck it, that's amazing. So I wanna keep going. Ah, bird! That's the one that threw me in the, under the bus. Eat those damn things. You notice the other thing weird about this game is that the 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 life meters mm -hmm. it starts out with enemy at full right before you even get to them yeah it's always there and and that's a that's a Konami thing because Castlevania had that and Ninja Gaiden had that that's right Ninja Gaiden they oh, they had almost and Ninja Gaiden had the items same as this Ninja Gaiden and Castlevania are a lot more closely related oh no wait you know what Ninja Gaiden was Tecmo. But they both had basically the same HUD. They both had basically the same U UI. Because you had the, the candles and stuff that you'd hit with your sword and collect items. And I never realized that. I thought they were the same company until, like, just now. Huh. Tecmo. I remember they made uh, the Snowbound is, is, is talking to your daughter. Awesome. Welcome, Snowbound. My daughter is social media. Oh, steak! Make sure you're safe. She's pretty smart, so she got the security options pretty good. Yeah. That's the one thing. I got distracted by the Lizzie thing, because my sister's name is Lizzie. Lizzie. And she gets called Lizzie. Yeah. You have a s oh, right. No, she was the baby. Yeah, now she's like I 20. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that? I remember seeing you hold a baby. Yeah. And it was really jarring. I would because you and I had a relationship that was, like, very uh, rife with toxic masculinity back then. Very um, much so. Very much so. So seeing you, we, you know, we just... Beavis and Butthead, I think, almost ruined an entire generation. I love Beavis and Butthead, and I think it's great. Uh, it's just that we were stupid, and, and it kind of taught us that... Uh, this is what friends look like is you be a horrible fucking asshole to everybody you know is you the, you're the closest person to you in your life you just verbally shit on in every opportunity that you get and we kind of did that get them that's what I did I just walked in and just started <laughs> yeah yeah nice, nice, nicely done thank you and so we did the shit out of that when, when, when we were what teenagers what the heck Oh man! And I remember you holding a baby. I was like, it was it was weird seeing you like vulnerable, you know, seeing you like be nurturing to something because we were always and this wasn't who we were, by the way. It's just what we kept demanding each other be. Yeah. It's not what either of us wanted to be. Exactly. Clearly, but but you know, just societal norms kind of dictated like, oh, you fucking pussy, you know. Anytime you showed any kind of vulnerability, which is just, yeah, it's just stupid. Just being a bad friend, too. And uh, we did the shit out of each other. But yeah, I saw you hold your little your little uh, uh, baby sister, and it, it took me right out of that. It was so bizarre. <laughs> I took care of my brothers when they were younger. Olivia takes care of her sister. She's home alone. She gets home alone. Alone. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Was the baby me, or was it Crystal's sister? It was. It was. It was the sister. It was the sister. But I mean, I like, took care of both my brothers. I wasn't I was... around when you were a kid. Oh, okay. No, when, when I'm talking to her. Oh yeah, yeah. I was not around when you were a kid. Uh, Crystal and I had a falling out, kind of. Well, not really. It's more like we were kind of busy with our own thing. I did too many, you know. And. Um, yeah. So like we, we we went different ways socially speaking. Well, well that's the thing. Okay, so it wasn't like a complete twenty year gap at all because we knew each other for high school. Right. That's a few years. Then after high school, you came over and a then, couple of times. Yeah, and then uh, Sarah's funeral. Yeah, we we uh, our friend Sarah tragically died. But the problem was is that it took nine years after Sarah's death for us to reunite. Right. And, um... We kind of reconnected on Facebook a little bit. Like, I found you and friended you. And then, uh, when you came out as trans and posted your picture, I was there to just say, like, cool! And the first thing I thought... The first... <laughs> Sorry. The first thing I thought when, when it happened... Because I had no idea. I, I, I saw, uh... Crystal Nelson has friended you. And I went, oh! Chris must have gotten married! 
Everyone thought she was my sister. Yeah. She. Everyone thought you were your sister. So for this brief second, and then I, I clicked on the picture, and I was like, oh, no, shit. Oh, all right. She transitioned. Oh, my God. See, some people got it right away, but... Most, I got it pretty soon. Most people didn't. Because I have other trans friends. Yeah. Um... It's just my face is still kind of the same. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, you it's, always have kind of a feminine face anyway. Exactly. I mean, like, what, I mean, my, the fat on my face has changed. Yeah, I, I mean, yes, like, it the has. general, With like... hormones? Yeah. And, like, the, the eyes, the nose. Ah, I didn't get that one. Uh, oh, it took her about a month. Ah. To get... took you about a month to what? Because you're... We're, we're out of time with you. So by the time you... Okay, here we go. I remember when I found out I was crying because I thought you'd never be the same. Me? Is that my daughter? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was upset at first. But it was brief. And what I did is I gave her the talk about... The, is it okay that we're talking about this? We should ask uh, uh, your daughter. Is it okay that we talk about this before you go on? Let us know. Yeah, okay, it's okay to talk about it. Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, I don't want to, I, I feel like I'm exploiting you. Yeah, like, I don't, I, I don't want to be exploitative and like have a, a family drama play out on the show. No, I mean, you can make it like Mari. No. <laughs> oh, fuck no. <laughs> If I ever, if I had a show on real television, it would be the opposite of that fucking show. Uh, I like, be... I like Mari. <laughs> yeah. It's so. All like... right. So anyway, uh, you said she was upset at first, but you had the talk. Um. Well, pretty much all it was I explained the scientific side. So right. I learned about it. I did a lot of research on it for many years. <laughs> Snowbound says, if you want me to step out, I don't want to be all voyeur. It's fine, dude. It's all good. We're doing this live on the internet. Yeah, it, like, if it was, like, a problem, I wouldn't be talking about <laughs> it. So it's all to We're the good. aware that we're on the internet. We are aware that we're live. Ah! Do you see him? He hit me on the other ledge, like, on the screen. <laughs> the spikes will kill you when I hit. I am. Um, so, you know, after I... Because... I didn't get diagnosed with the whole um, gender dysphoria at first. Right. I got the endocrine disorder, where they actually tested my hormones, and you know, then I signed a waiver. Right. Saying, oh, yeah, I'm gonna take this now. It's good. And you're not responsible. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you backdoored your way in. Yep. You you uh, did not have to prove that you were trans to start taking hormones because you had the endocrine disorder. Exactly. And then she's like, well, you should hook up with a mental health place. And then they fixed yeah. that fixed that uh, diagnosis. I, I mean, like I kind of had it. But it, it, I had to fight for it because right. I, because I was dealing with Marysville. Yeah. Oh my God! Like living in Redneck Town, well, going through this was like Marysville was a sleepy logging town like fifteen to twenty years ago. Like it it it. Yeah, I can't imagine being trans anywhere but a big city, and even in a big city, I can't. I still can't fucking imagine. Like it's. It's, Unless you 100% pass, like if you pass, then then you're good. You're you're gonna get fucked with for being a woman, yeah. but you're not gonna get fucked with for being trans. I mean, I'm getting there. And it's it's a little fucked up that we just expect every it's it, we expect everybody to pass. Yeah. Well, I want to. I mean, I'm pretty superficial now. <laughs> I Look, okay, people. When I say I'm a feminist, uh. They start, and you've done this, they start to apologize for liking being feminine and liking the trappings of it, like makeup and clothes and, oh. and all that shit. Yeah. And I'm like, no, feminism is all about if you do that for you, cool. It ain't about nobody, you know, that like PCU, there's a reason I, have you seen that movie? No. Okay, well, never mind. But uh, a lot of, like, the media representations of what a feminist is are just so fucking off-base. They're hilariously wrong. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, uh, but everybody has this image of, like, a militant man-hating lesbian, or, you know, uh, uh, speaking of Beavis and Butthead, uh, Van Driesen, you know, the hippie? Yeah. Okay. You know, that guy? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's their image of what a feminist is, is Marcy Darcy from, from, uh, Married, Married with Children. Children. Yeah. And it's so not like that. Um... You know, so people keep expecting me to be this version of a feminist that I'm not, where they're like, like, look, I like girl stuff. It's, I, I like it. I need to be, you know, and I'm like, if, if you do you, man, that's cool. It's, my whole thing is you shouldn't be expected to do those things. And if you want to do them, awesome. Yeah. If you don't want to do them, cool too. I kind of like being expected though. That's the problem. I don't think that's a problem. Well, I know. It's I think that's your bad. It's just that, that you, you know, you don't get to think that it's the only way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's not. I mean, look, yeah. I came here with minimal. I don't do that for anyone, by the way. <laughs> um, I, I'm so embarrassed. Like, I will literally not even walk outside to take out the garbage until I get my face ready. Snowbound does not know me. Snowbound is a stranger. To answer the question in chat. Which is, I'm happy. I'm happy as shit to have a fucking stranger here. I need like 50,000 more of those. How do I get down there? Uh, Snowbound says, I'm a goon. I'm not sure that your daughter is going to know what that means. That is what uh, people who belong to the Something Awful forums call themselves. And it started ironically because somebody uh, accused Lotax, the owner of the site, the, of, of sicking his goons on them. Uh -huh. And we all thought that was hilarious, so we all started calling each other goons way back in the day. I remember that. Part of our list of words that would change every now and then. That we, we, would... we used goon back then, yeah, like way before something awful, like 95? Yeah, and then we, I think we put it on, like, those words in, like, their America Online profiles. Like, I'd be like... We oh. totally did. Yeah, and I'd be like, all so right. I, yeah. I'd be like, apparently not, apparently so, one month. <laughs> and yeah, I'd be yeah, like... Yeah. Buh or wuh. Yeah. <laughs> Description. Buh. Yeah. B-U-H. Buh. America Online. Jesus world. <laughs> oh my god. That was like uh, when I was a sophomore, my dad bought me a... What was it? An 800... No, 466. Your daughter knows what goon means. Her mom told her. I mean, goon doesn't mean somebody from something awful, so I don't know what your mom told you. I'm just giving it, in this specific context, goon just means a something awful fan. A member of the something awful forums. And if your mom is a something awful person, I apologize. I, okay, cool. No, your mom's cool. Do you guys get along? That's good. I, yeah. I mean, you know. I like that. I get along with my ex-wife. We're not at a place that we can hang out a lot yet. Because we just got divorced in, in what was it, March? Yeah. Um, but we're gonna try. You don't have to hate somebody to not be in a relationship with them anymore, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, sometimes things aren't working and it's okay to end them. Our whole goal is let's do divorce, like, way better than our parents would have you know my parents did her parents are still married which is shocking i don't know anybody whose parents are still married my parents are still married that yeah that is also shocking and then like my foster parents are still married snowbound is also an aggressive leftist so he he or she tends to find internet people that aren't nazis fuck yeah man yeah screw the nazis that uh ah! I, I met Jim Sterling not too long ago. He's he's a big uh, YouTube celebrity. Yeah. He does the Jim's Quisition. And, and he came to Seattle and just tweeted out, Hey, I'm going to a bar. Anybody who wants to show up? And it was like four blocks from my house. So I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. Um, I met Jim Sterling. And he used to like dress up kind of as... Uh, Like Mussolini-ish, kinda. Like he was, he would have a, you know, a podium and, and would stunt. He was basically fashioning himself as a dictator. And he recently, he, he talked to me that night. He recently changed his show format kind of yeah. from that. 
into more of a carnival barker pervert. Yeah. Which is a cool gimmick. I think that's neat. But he talked to us, like, this was a, uh, about two months ago. He talked to us that night about, like, I fucking... This was funny until Nazis came back. Now there are real fucking Nazis again. That's so messed up. Like, they're they're unabashed, unapologetic Nazis. And we're, we're and then the you know the left is debating is it okay to punch a Nazi and I'm like fuck are you how f are you shitting me they're Nazis <laughs> I, well the thing is the left the left wing needs to get a little bit more aggressive yeah you know I mean like it would be if they got too progressive it'd be bad because the, the you know then they get called out and then you get the conservatives who are paying people off you know right. So anyway, I don't think it's a surprise that a show called Sofa Justice Warriors is going to have a left-wing bent. Sorry. Yeah, you gotta, gotta, gotta stop kicking the microphone. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. One day, I'd like to get boom arms that I can hang from the loft, like I've hung the lights, and just have microphones in front of both of us so we don't have to worry so much about uh, outside noise. Oh, I see. But for now, I'm, I'm okay with the Zoom. The Zoom has pretty good audio, just never built in. I've never seen it before. You can, uh, it's it's almost like a four track. Like, look on, look on the back. You're, uh, sorry about the sound for a second. You're a musician. Oh, okay. Yeah. X XLRs. Like, you can straight up plug XLRs, and in the middle, you can plug a uh, quarter inch. Oh, cool. So you can just plug a guitar oh, into yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just straight up plug a guitar into this thing uh -huh. and write a song. That's cool. Yeah. It looks like an omnidirectional. It is. Those, yeah. We got the, the, the two yayas there. I can't tell you how many movies I've worked on that we would... Okay, I can tell you. It was like five. Uh, but like five movies I've worked on, I've had my Zoom with. I always carry my equipment with me just in case, mm -hmm. even if I'm on somebody else's shoot. Because you never know. And it always, if you're the guy who goes, no, I have that. It's with, I have it. Then you're the fucking hero. You are... Uh, keep playing. Uh, <laughs> you are a goddamn hero if, if you are just the person who says, No, I have a backup sound device. Um, so I always carry my stuff with me. And I can't tell you... I, well, again, I can't. Five. Uh, where we f we're trying to film something and we fuck around with trying to get the boom guy off camera into exactly the right place. And I just walk up to the rec director and be like, I have my Zoom. We can just place it right here, like right off camera. Mm -hmm. And the audio is gorgeous. Way better than a boom guy trying to awkwardly fit into uh, a 2002 Toyota Tacoma. Oh, God. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Snowbound says, I was very briefly concerned that the title was ironic. Hard to tell how many layers you might have been on initially. Yeah, we talked a little bit earlier about the optics of the show. Um, right now there's a trans woman on tra on camera, so I don't think the optics are as bad as they normally are, but normally it's <laughs> me and my friend Dell, and you know, he looks like uh, the kind of person who, would, who might in his off time wear a trilby hat and have terrible opinions about women. Um, it's a shame because... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, also, male FYI, if you need if you need pronouns, I did need pronouns. Thank you. Cis, het, white, able, male, <laughs> privilord, apologies. No apologies necessary. There is nothing wrong with any of those things. <laughs> so long as you're a little socially aware. <laughs> That's it. I discovered that once I just admitted that there are advantages to looking like this, that's all anybody ever fucking wanted. I never had to have another argument. I never had to advocate for myself. I never had to get defensive. I never had to do any of those things because all anybody was really asking of me is saying, yeah, it's a little fucked up how society treats people who aren't me. Now, granted, I'm queer, but nobody, you can't see that. I'm not visible with that. Yeah. You know, nobody can fucking tell. <laughs> Yeah, that's just like a mental, like, oh yeah, by the way, god dang it. Yeah. <laughs> and I came out, I came out about a year ago in the way, or no, yeah, about a year ago in the wake of the Pulse shooting in Florida. Because finally, I've been soft out to all my friends 
for years, but I, I didn't really hard come out. Yeah. Until then. Hard come out. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a penis joke. I get it. <laughs> um. Anyway, I didn't hard come out until then, and at that point, it just felt cowardly not to. It felt like if <laughs> if I don't put myself out there and tell the world, look, I'm here. There are a lot of us. Also, now I can be a loud asshole for a cause. You know, <laughs> not just a loud asshole. The controller's kind of getting a little glitchy. Is it? Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. Uh, Blue Bluetooth controllers are not perfect. No, I would rather use the... I don't have a wired one for you, so I apologize. No, 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 no. I don't know what the... The wireless ones that I got... Lol, your your daughter says, "Lol, I don't understand '90s tall X or '90s talk XD. XD is a, <laughs> is a smiley, right? Yeah. Okay. No, no, you super weren't around for the '90s. Yeah. Oh my God, the '90s are like well, the '60s for us. In twenty some odd years, you might be on the internet talking about now, and you'll sound like us." It's coming. It happens to everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> You're fine now. Keep going. Keep going. I love this game. Yeah, yeah. 3 1. You're I doing mean, great. You're doing great. I just have. I don't even remember what it. Whoa, one hit. The controller glitch. It wouldn't let me jump. Okay. I'm oh, Bluetooth. Here's, here's one of the problems. All right, you've got your phone. I've got my phone. Uh -huh. We've got the Zoom. We've got all these electronics all over the place, uh, all sending signals everywhere. Yeah. Jesus. And then when I show up, well, I don't... It's not like when you were a kid and when, when somebody said, the Nintendo controller didn't work. You knew they were lying. You knew they were full of shit. Now controllers actually do have errors. Oh my god, they do. Well, even like, okay, so I bought... That one of those wireless controllers I have was a GameStop PS2 controller. Mm -hmm. And I had two of them. And, like, one of them just, like, stopped working. And I don't know what it is. It's something digital because, like, the the sensor would, like, blink constantly. Like... Oh, your poor daughter. Aww. Oh. She, she's... She's... She's, uh... Writing for, for those uh, not privy to the chat. She is writing us... She's sick. Aww. She's homesick. And she is writing out onomatopoeia of everything that she's going through. Sniffle, sniffle, cough, cough. There is nothing no. worse than ah! that. It wouldn't let me jump again! Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Don't, don't flip out! Okay. Okay. <laughs> there are a few things worse than being sick. There are a few things worse than not having your health. I mean, sure, if you just want to start listing them, but I think we'd be here all night. Yeah, I'm not going to list them. Thank you for saying that, because... <laughs> <laughs> In your case, I would say being actively marginalized by society at, at, as a whole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that's why I don't really leave the house that much. Yeah. Like, I don't even, like, go in the grocery store. Oh, my no. God, it wasn't even, like... Whew. We were, uh... When I was at your house the other night, um, I had a thought where I was like, oh, maybe, you know, because I was going to take the train home. Uh, I, eventually, I eventually wound up getting a ride from your wonderful, wonderful roommate. Uh, but when I was thinking of taking the train home, I had this thought of like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe she'll walk me to the train station. And then I was like, oh, maybe super don't walk alone at night looking like you. Yeah, I had to, I had to remember like, oh, shit. No, you don't. You don't get to be safe, as safe as I am walking alone in the middle of the night. I'm stuck. I can't get out. You're right, though. But you know what, though? What? I've done it before. I'm I know. Walking. I know. Yeah, you're punk rock like that. But it was. So here's the thing. That was your choice. I wasn't gonna ask you. I know. To do that. Because I, I was like, care. that's, that, ooh, that's, uh. If, if anything bad happened to you because you walked me to the train station, I would never be able to live with it. Yeah. 
thing Annika was like, oh, you arrived. Yeah, that was great. I had to drive tonight because Annika has the bus card. No. Oh. She had dirty duty. People do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, okay. I would hang any jury I was ever on. I I am so, I have so many problems with the criminal justice system just by and large. Me too. I hate it. It's broken. Yeah, it's hella broken. And and even the people in it know it's broken. And they're still. And it's it. same with the medical system. Everybody in medicine and almost everybody in criminal justice is like this. Super shouldn't be this way. FDA. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I don't know the criminal system. Oh my god, what time is it? It is 7.22. We're 22 minutes past. Okay, can we take over for a second? Because I have to... Okay, uh, you know what? Let's just take an intermission. Okay. We'll take a quick break. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a drink. BRB! Ow, damn it! Oh, where's my mouse? Oh, it's just awkward dead air. That was awesome. I'm back. We're, we're live. Uh, we're back just to tell you uh, thank you so much, all of you, for coming. Uh, we're going to end the stream. What do we got? What do we got? Hey, at least we can talk still. IDK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're done. We're going to call it a night. We're going to call it a stream. Thank you so much for coming. Seriously, this was amazing. I, I'm so happy I got to be a part of it. I felt I felt weirdly like maybe I shouldn't be here on my own show. What? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I have my notifications on though. Great! I have a new viewer. That's awesome. awesome. Your daughter is 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 gonna watch my show. That's awesome. That's awesome. Get fellow uh, video game enthusiasts. Yes. 
And people into social justice. I hope you know some. I hope the young people are hip to this. I hope the young people are getting into this. As far as I can tell, pretty much. As far as I can tell, a lot of the young people are like, I super don't understand why we still think gay people are weird. I super don't understand why it's it, racism is still a thing. I super don't... Yeah, a lot of young people are just way smarter than the rest of America is being. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> oh. oh, Snowbound says, good night, people. I'll catch you again. I hope you do. It was nice to have you, Snowbound. Good Del's night. Dell's gonna be doing Netrunner tomorrow, probably. So, uh, he's definitely doing something. So he'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably be in the stream on the internet, but not on camera with him. Um, this is gonna be turned to YouTube? Is It'll eventually... Yes, this will be turned into a YouTube video... Uh, by Friday. Um, I'm going to give myself a little leeway because we had that computer crash. Yeah. And that means that I have to actually, like, bring it into Premiere and join the videos and turn it into its own. Yeah. It means I have to do post-production work. Which oh. the whole reason I did a live show was to stop having to do post-production work for literally every piece of content that I produce. But here we are. The computer crashed and now I have to do it. So I, it'll, it'll go up soonish though. This is all archived on Twitch right away. The moment that we stop, you can go back and, and look at our videos on Twitch and it'll be up. You can watch this whole thing again, anytime you want. And even on Twitch, this is a cool thing on Twitch. The chat is archived. So if you, if you're watching the video on Twitch, the chat follows what happened. The oh. chat appears as the chat appeared during the live stream which i think is really cool i think that's super awesome um let's see uh like share subscribe all of the buttons are beneath us on twitch uh if you're on youtube uh subscribe to us on twitch if you're subscribe to us on everything <laughs> we love you we think you're all great uh love you. this is your safe space i hope I hope I can be that for people. Uh, Crystal, thank you so much for coming on the show. Of course. Uh, it's been an honor and a privilege having you. I can count you amongst the Sofa Justice Warriors. You are now a card-carrying member. Though there, a... though there is no literal card. It's a pleasure to be here. But there's always a spot on my couch for you. Thank uh, you. On, 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 on aboard this, this here couch. Uh, it's been an honor and a privilege... Thank you, everybody. Good night. And remember, tomorrow, Dell's going to be streaming something. We'll see you then. Good night. Now I have to awkwardly walk away and turn the stream off. I'll sit here and let's smile. <laughs>